but reckless spending and interracial homoeroticism were just volume one of the Encyclopedia Self-Destructica. Even more harrowing were the events of one April afternoon. The script originally called for me to jump the gorge, but I'd been up all night paying people to kiss, so Dad volunteered to do the stunt. Everything was going great at first. I felt like I was king of the world. I'm king of the world! Woohoo! Woohoo! Right about here. I realized something's wrong. Yep, there I go. Then came the rocks. Jagged rocks. Hitting me with their jags. The sequence became an instant comedy classic. But what the audience didn't see was the unfunny aftermath. Somehow, Homer became addicted to painkillers. It was the only way he could perform the bone-cracking physical comedy that made him a star. This is the worst pain ever! Stop pummeling me! It's really painful! Why did I take such punishment? Let's just say that fame was like a drug. But what was even more like a drug was the drugs. But despite their mounting problems, the Simpsons star continued to rise, like a plastic bag caught in an updraft. It was such an honor to be on the Walk of Fame. I mean, there we were with Hollywood royalty like Milton Berle and Nelson Mandela. And just a few stars down from the Cheerios honeybee. Awards and honors are great, but they don't pay the pickle man. We were earning millions, but we were always strapped for cash. One time, Lisa bought a first edition of Susan B. Anthony Man. Her check bounced higher than Rubber Girl. Where did the money go? Marge lost much of the family fortune investing in birth control products. I learned something. When people reach for their diaphragm, they don't want to see my picture. As the Simpsons' money dwindled, their expenses soared. From the original group of five, the cast ballooned to dozens, then hundreds. I'd never acted before in my life, but uh, if the sea captain could be in the show, why not me? I've even got a catchphrase. Yeah! Wah! 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 Now I lost it. Then another bombshell. An anonymous tipster alerted Uncle Sam that the Simpsons were evading their income taxes. Yes, I think on Homer, but you know, he deserved it. Never have I seen such abuse of the take a penny, leave a penny tray. The tax men were merciless. <laughs> Oh! Hey! They can't take our house! My pot belly pig is in there! Oh, Mr. Porky! No! Inevitably, the behind the scenes turmoil took its toll on their TV series. And action! Hold on, cut. Oh, man. Oh. Bart, if it's not too much trouble... Fine, I'll do Teen Wolf 3. I've got fair-weathered friends to feed. Dad, I want to go to bed. Aren't there child labor laws? Who told you about those laws? Was it Marge? Hey, you've been writing me all day. Why don't you poop in your hat? Are you going to need us tonight? I have ballet tickets. Not that they'll do much good now. With the family in disarray, episodes increasingly resorted to gimmicky premises and nonsensical plots. I'm an imposter. That man is the real Seymour Skinner. <gasps> Trendy guest stars were shamelessly trotted out to grab ratings. If you are looking for trouble, you found it. Just try me, you... No! Oh! Yeah! But there were bigger problems off screen. After judging a Miss Hawaiian Tropic beauty contest at the Sheridan Halea Kaluilea, Bart created a ruckus on a Hawaiian airline jet, attacking several flight attendants. While he was in rehab, the part of Bart Simpson was played by his good friend, Richie Rich. Bart, what do you mean you have jury duty? Don't have a cow, mother. Fans reacted to these slapdash episodes with yawns. <sighs> Angry yawns. 